Hello and welcome back to the Fantasy Guild. Guys, I just want to say a quick thank you for getting the channel over 200 subscribers. It's absolutely insane. I can't keep up with how many subs we're getting just to make these like short little thank you things. I'm so excited to see where this channel takes us. But episode six of whatever you comment, I will add into my fantasy world. So let's just jump straight into the episode. The first entry we have today is from the YouTube user Made Up Words. I love the, just the visual aspect of this idea. As groups of adventurers journey throughout this continent, sometimes as they traverse through the different landscapes, they may have the rare opportunity to encounter a huge elephant. And this elephant is covered in different sized platforms and drapes and there is paint covering it and as it slowly sombers its way through different terrain it can be seen on these platforms people moving around there's hustle there's bustle there's noise there's the faint hum of music and as these adventurers take a closer look at this elephant and what's going on on its back they can see people rummaging around through chests looking at different items of clothing and trinkets and this elephant is known to be called the bandwagon you see the group that own the beast and also the shop on top of it are merchants and these merchants are obsessed with the latest fashion and trends and they always know how to make someone look absolutely fabulous. However, at night, if you happen to cross the path of the slumbering giant elephant, you would notice that the merchants and the customers and the cargo that was heavily laden upon this elephant's back have vanished. They are nowhere to be seen. That's because on closer inspection, at the very back of the elephant, on a single platform, there stands a lonesome door. And this door is beautifully carved with strange ruins from ancient times, but it leads nowhere. That is what it appears to be anyway. You see, through this door lies a massive mansion. This mansion is in fact a pocket dimension and this serves as a space for both boarding of the merchants and the crew and also their precious precious cargo but this mansion and the bandwagon itself have a dark secret you see in this mansion there is a trapped caged dryad this dryad is forced to work day and night and its magical power is essence is siphoned away from it to basically fuel this pocket dimension and the portal through the door to it on top of that this dryad is forced to create silkworm and weave fey patterns so that they can be sold at a high price to customers that are looking for things such as that. This dryad was captured from the Untamed Maw, an island that we covered in a previous episode, and it wants nothing more than to go home and be reunited with its people, and is forever waiting for a group of adventurers that will stumble upon the bandwagon's dark secret. So a really, really strong first entry for this episode, and it's followed by another great one by the user Kingdom of Kingenthal. Across the realms there is known to be a huge flying city. It's known to constantly roam the skies freely throughout any season, all year round. And as its massive shadow is cast upon the land, those who are out farming or travelling on foot glance up to see what is casting such a shadow, to see a massive collection of airships that are tied together with rope and chains and connect with various bridges, all moving as one huge unit. You see this cluster of airships, this city is known as Koshitar. And the city of Koshitar was born from a story of heartbreak and tragedy. You see it was constructed by two groups, a group of gifts and a group of goblins. In the past they lived separately until both of their villages their homes were burnt and raided by hobgoblins. And as the survivors fled and traveled far and wide, they happened to stumble onto each other's paths. Together, they spent time in solitude, trying to regain some of their strength. And in that, they came up with a plan, a plan to leave the ground and seek safety in the sky. So many years passed, and together the Gif and the Goblins began to construct many, many airships. And eventually, the city of Kushtar took flight. 
Kushitar was born and since then the population and size has been ever growing. And moving on to this episode's final entry which is from Osvaldo Kunz. On the border of the eastern isles of this continent there lies a lonely rock and on this rock there is no life, no vegetation and no sign of magic. But at the center of this rock stands a tall singular tower. On closer inspection it doesn't appear to be man-made. In fact it looks to be carved from stone almost as if some force grabbed the surface of the rock and drove it upwards creating a tall slender shape that would function as a tower. From the outside there is no windows only a singular door that lies open and waiting. And once you journey through the door, it leads to a long, winding, spiraling staircase leading upwards. It's pitch black and it is icy cold. After what seems like hours of journeying upwards, adventurers would be met with a room at the top. And around this room are small torches with blue flames illuminating its contents, that of which is a single pedestal. And on this pedestal, there lies a small black stone. And what this stone is, is a trap. You see, for anyone that attempts to grab this stone, automatically is frozen in space and almost immediately the stone begins to liquidate in their grasp and almost as sudden as they appear to be holding the liquid in their hands their body ignites into a white searing hot flame and all of a sudden silence and as the ash settles amongst it can be seen a new little black stone and it will lie there waiting until its next victim enters this bluish freezing room to pick it up. Although there is an ancient text buried somewhere far off that mentions this tower and this trap of the little black stone and it gives a piece of advice to adventurers that seek to journey to its top floor. Strangely this little black stone is weak to charcoal. If the adventurer who has laid hands upon this rock has charcoal on their person well they will survive but at a great cost. And guys that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and as always if you have any ideas that you want in this series please just drop them in the comments below and I will eventually get around to putting them all into a video for everyone to be able to see. So without further ado this has been the Fantasy Guild and until next time peace.